Hi hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The topic is Citus Inverses. Before starting I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below the video in the description area. So you can click the link to visit the website. Now I come to the topic what is Citus Inverses you know. You know the situs inversus is a, a genetic condition in which organs in the chest and the abdomen are positioned in uh, a mirror image uh, from their normal positions you know for example uh, the left atrium of the heart and the left lung are positioned on the body's right side you know in the abdominal cavity okay and uh, the liver is positioned mostly on the left side instead of the right side you know and the stomach is on the right side uh, instead of left side you know so the situs inverses is a very a rare condition okay and uh, you know the sinus inverses is caused by the autosomal recessive genetic condition. So, an unaffected carrier mother and an unaffected carrier father have one in four chance of having a child with the sinus inverses, you know. Because many genetic steps would have to come together to cause this condition, you know. And the condition is very rare. And uh, uh, it's also seen in uh, uh, mirror image twins, you know. So this type of twins occur when a, uh, when fertilized embryo splits later than uh, usual during pregnancy, you know. And the mirror image twins can also be uh, opposites in things like uh, uh, headedness or maybe symmetrical f uh, features, you know, and maybe brain hemisphere uh, dominance, you know. Uh, there are uh, you know, the Sears inverses has two main subtypes, uh, dextrocardia and uh, lovocardia. And uh, a person is said to have uh, uh, dextrocardia if uh, the point of the heart is on the right side, you know. And a person is said to have the lovocardia if the heart is on the left side, yet the other organs are flipped you know and uh, this uh, subtype is categorized uh, by the heart location you know okay and uh, levocardia is rare and uh, it's mostly associated with uh, other like cardiac abnormalities okay and another subtype is uh, situs uh, ambiguous so this occurs when several organs are uh, in abnormal positions uh, but not uh, in an uh, easily defined pattern, you know. Okay, so they are randomly uh, on the different positions, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the next thing is what are the symptoms? Well, you know, the organs can be functional in this condition, you know. And it's possible for a person to have no complications. And other patients can experience like uh, cardiac dysfunction or lung dysfunction or, or lung condition which is called primary ciliary uh, dyskinesia you know, or also known as PCD which is uh, uh, which causes uh, the mucus build up in the lungs you know and this can lead to the chronic bronchitis and maybe sinusitis you know and the people with the, uh, this uh, SIDS inverses and the PCD are said to have like uh, uh, Cardignor's syndrome, you know. Uh, the next thing is how do the doctors diagnose that uh, you have this uh, inverses diagnosis, uh, uh, SIDS uh, inverses, you know, SIDS inverses, you know. You know, a doctor can diagnose it uh, by looking at the organs in the ultrasound, maybe in the x-rays, maybe in the CT scan, maybe MRI scan and maybe 
ultrasonography you know and you know because the condition uh, seldom causes symptoms and is so rare a person may not know they have it you know okay and uh, uh, it may not um, may not be discovered until visiting a doctor for any other di different reason you know and then he orders the like imaging test and he finds that the organs are not at the right position okay so, so it may be a discovered accidentally you know and uh, another way uh, the cytosomatosis may be discovered is uh, uh, like uh, when the doctor listens to the heart you know the heartbeat and the heartbeat is typically loudest at the lower part of the heart uh, on a patient's left side you know but a person with the cytosinversus can have a like a heart that uh, points to the right you know so the heartbeat would be the loudest on that side instead of the left side you know and the doctors can uh, use the imaging studies to determine the exact type of uh, this condition you know the next thing is uh, how to treat if uh, you have this condition you know well many patients uh, they don't have any symptoms so they don't need uh, treatment you know and if a person with the, this condition does have the complications like uh, heart defect or maybe doctor will treat the symptoms you know and the surgery to reverse the organs uh, positioning is usually not recommended you know because it will disturb whole the system you know and knowing if it's not on uh, 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 extremely necessary you know and uh, knowing if you have the situs inverses is important if you undergo another surgical procedure you know okay and um, uh, it's very rare birth defect in which some organs are atypically placed so sometimes there is no symptom and uh, in other cases there are associated complications you know and the condition is discovered when the patient visits the doctor for completely different medical reason you know and the treatment is usually aimed by helping the symptoms of a related complication like heart defect or surgery to correct the organs positioning uh, is usually not recommended thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more information thank you and goodbye